In my food processor, I have the ingredients you need for the crust. So I have almond flour, this is unsweetened shredded coconut, some monk fruit, kosher salt, and then I'm using coconut oil just because I like the taste. You could also use melted ghee or butter would work too. So I'll put it in the food processor and now get the lid on. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> wait this one. There, okay, and then just pulse it until it comes. Okay, right there is good. Just a couple pulses. And the way you know it's done is when you take the dough, like it still looks pretty dry, but when you pinch it together, it sticks together. So this is exactly what you want it to look like. Two mason jars that work perfect for this cheesecake. The first and my favorite is by Kerr. They make a wide mouth half pint mason jar. So this is gonna hold eight ounces. If you're using this size, you're gonna get 12 cheesecakes that are like a really good serving size, just one cup. This is cheapest on um, Walmart. You can get it at Target, a lot of big grocery stores. They have it on Amazon, but they charge you like twice the amount to get it on Amazon. So I always get my mason jars at Walmart. The other option is you can use this four ounce ball mason jar. And this one's obviously smaller, it's half the size. So if you use this size, you're gonna get 24 little cheesecakes. If you use this size, you're gonna get 12 like normal portion cheesecakes. And I went through and divided up the crust between all of the mason jars. I have 12 here. They get roughly a tablespoon and a half of crust per mason jar. And then one of my hacks is I'll take a four ounce jar and just kind of like press it lightly just to get it in an even layer. And the nice thing, since these are staying in the mason jar, like this can be really rustic. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not slicing it and lifting it out. So I'll just give it like a nice little press in here to get it going. Okay, I have the crust just pressed into a nice even layer. It's gonna look so pretty in the bottom of the jar once the cheesecake is on top. So I'm gonna bake this. I love the flavor of the crust when it bakes a little bit, like the almonds and the coconut gets nice and toasted and yummy. You could make this like a truly no bake cheesecake and just put the cheesecake topping right on top. But if you have the time, which I do, I mean, it doesn't take long at all. I'm just gonna pop these in the oven. I have them here on a rim baking sheet and let them get nice and toasty. Here they are after baking. You can see they got nice and golden brown. So they just have that great like roasted almond and coconut flavor. So now these are hot, so I'm gonna let them cool completely. And while they cool, I'm gonna make the filling. This step is optional, but if you have a Vitamix, I recommend adding, so this is the monk fruit that I'm gonna be using for the cheesecake, but I like to turn it into like a powdered sugar by blending it in my Vitamix. I find it dissolves. It gives you a much smoother cheesecake. So I have it in here, and then I'm just gonna do it on medium speed, and then watch this. cranked it up to high for the last like 10 seconds. So now in here, it's gonna be kind of smoky. Now I have, <laughs> this looks like science, but now in here it's like powdered sugar. So it dissolves much better. You can do this with, um, <laughs> I'm inhaling this. You can do this with coconut sugar too. It's a great way to get um, really fine sugar. Right about there is exactly how you want it. So you can see it's nice and thick. Okay, so I'll set this aside. In this bigger bowl, I have the cream cheese and any cream cheese works. Um, I'm just using this eight ounce block of the organic cream cheese from Whole Foods. And this is room temperature. So now I'm gonna go through and with the same paddles, they're dirty, no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and just whip it so it gets fluffy. Right, like that, it's nice and fluffy. So now I'll uh, scrape this down. I added in the pumpkin puree, so now I'm going to combine these. Then I've added the pumpkin pie spice, the vanilla, and then that powdered monk fruit that I made in the Vitamix. So now slowly, I'm going to add all this. <laughs> right there, that's exactly how you want it to look. So yummy. So now I'm going to combine these two. I like to do this part uh, by hand with my spatula. I'm just going to slowly fold this in. You don't want to deflate the whipped cream too much. This is what's going to keep it really fluffy and light and airy. So I'll just do a couple turns to get this all. 
I divided the pumpkin cheesecake mixture in all the mason jars. So now I'm just smoothing them down a little bit, but then again, I mean, it's totally fine if these look rustic. So now I just have to put the lids on and then put this in the fridge until they're really firm. Here they are the next day. So they've been in the fridge for 24 hours. You can see they're nice and firmed up, but still like soft. This one I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna cover it with cream. So these are ready to go. So what you can do is I made some uh, keto whipped cream. I just whipped up just heavy cream and then monk fruit, powdered monk fruit and added it in. So now the last thing to do is this is exactly how I serve it. I'll just get a little spoonful and dollop it right on. So you can do this right before you're serving. I'm not good at making things pretty. I'll see if I can make it prettier. <laughs> You can do this right before serving or you can do it in advance and then just put the lid right back on and people can grab it as they want. Totally up to you. I am just freaking out in dessert heaven. This is so delicious. The cheesecake filling is really soft and light from that, uh, the whipped cream in it. it has lots of air in it. Just so good. And I love how easy this is. You don't have to worry about slicing it up and serving it. It's people could take the extras home if you don't want to have a bunch of dessert left over. This is A plus. This is so good.